Since the invention of the internal combustion engine, technicians have been limited with options for moving engine fluids, especially engine coolant. CXI is taking the lead in addressing the task of engine coolant handling with a new approach that makes shops safer, more efficient, and environmentally compliant. They've done so with the development of the 2V700 coolant extractor. This video will introduce you to this new approach to handling coolant. You will be shown the process and equipment for removing coolant, efficiently filling a cooling system, and how to test the system's integrity. You will also receive instructions on how to operate the coolant extractor and learn just how user-friendly this tool is. The process consists of two components, the coolant extractor and a quick disconnect fitting on the cooling system. The quick disconnect allows the service technician with quick and easy access to the cooling system. This replaces drain valves and drain plugs on the cooling system and also provides a means in which coolant can be installed. The coolant extractor connects to the quick disconnect on the cooling system so that coolant can be injected or extracted from the cooling system. Here are the four key features to the coolant extractor. The tank, the control manifold, the conduit hose, and the cart for portability in the shop. The tank is constructed in compliance with the ASME requirements for pressure vessels. Each tank is registered and traceable in accordance with U.S. and Canadian guidelines. The tank is sealed to prevent contamination from an outside source. Mounted on the side is a graduated sight tube for measuring the content of the tank. The manifold contains the components to make the process work. Valves control the vacuum and pressurization function of the unit. A relief valve prevents the tank from becoming overpressurized, which could cause damage to the cooling system. Here, you will find a dial gauge that reads the vacuum or pressure condition of the tank. This is the place where the unit is connected to the air source. The coolant transfer hose is equipped with a flow control ball valve that controls the flow of fluid into and out of the tank. Attached to the connection end of the coolant transfer hose is the socket end of a double shutoff style coupling. This feature allows the technician to connect to the cooling system quickly and efficiently with no unnecessary exposure or loss of coolant. All of these components are mounted on a durable service cart that allows for the tool to be moved freely about the shop. Because of the design of the system and its portability, the unit can perform all of its functions remotely from its air source. The only requirement to operate the coolant extractor is shop air. Removing coolant from the cooling system consists of the following steps. First, do a pre-service check of both the cooling system and the coolant extractor. Check the condition of the coolant and try to identify any contamination prior to the removal process. Identify the location of the quick disconnect or the drain plug on the cooling system. Make sure that the coolant extractor is connected to an air source and that the flow control valve on the conduit hose is closed. Remove the radiator cap from the surge tank, then connect the conduit hose to the vehicle via the quick disconnect. Start the vacuum process by turning the vacuum control valve to the on position. As the vacuum condition of the tank builds, open the flow control valve on the conduit hose to start the extraction process. Watch as the coolant level drops at the surge tank. Soon the coolant level in the tank of the coolant extractor will become visible in the sight tube. Once the dial gauge reads between 15 and 20 inches of mercury, the vacuum control valve can be turned off. Once all the coolant that is capable of being removed from the cooling system is out, the coolant extractor will continue to pull air from the vehicle until all vacuum in the tank is lost. At this point, the coolant extractor has removed the coolant and safely captured the coolant in the tank for either disposal or containment until time for reinstallation into the vehicle. Next, let's look at the steps of showing how coolant is installed into the cooling system. First, do a pre-service check of both the cooling system and the cooling extractor. Make sure the cooling system is ready to receive coolant. Identify the location of the quick disconnect or drain plug on the cooling system. 
Check to make sure the coolant extractor is connected to an air source and the flow control valve on the conduit hose is closed. Remove the radiator cap from the surge tank, then connect the conduit hose to the vehicle via the quick disconnect. The vacuum valve should be turned to the off position. Press and hold down the pressure push button valve until the tank's pressure is between 25 and 30 PSI. Once the tank is at the proper pressure level, open the flow control valve on the conduit hose. The cooling system is now being filled, unlike through the surge tank from the bottom up. There will be a noticeable difference in the lack of air trapped in the system. There should not be a need to top off the system with coolant. As the coolant level in the coolant extractor drops, so will the air pressure. There needs to be a minimum amount of air pressure in the tank as the filling process nears completion. It is recommended that as the coolant level drops past the bottom level of the sight gauge, the technician charge the tank to 15 PSI and allow the pressure to bleed off. This is to avoid accidental spillage at the surge tank created by a high level of air pressure on the tank. If additional pressure is required to complete the fill, do not exceed the 10 PSI mark on the dial gauge. Once the system is filled to the recommended OEM level, turn the flow control valve off. Not all trucks are equipped with a quick disconnect access, but that doesn't mean that the process cannot be used on these vehicles. CXI has developed a quick disconnect fitting to access the cooling system in the most efficient manner possible. The CXI cool drain plug can be installed to provide quick and efficient access to the system. CXI offers a retrofit kit that allows the cool drain plug to be installed without the draining of the coolant from the system. The kit includes vacuum caps for surge tanks and a hose adapter for connecting to the coolant extractor. Installing a cool drain plug on the vehicle is a simple process. Locate the petcock or drain valve on the lowest part of the cooling system. This could be found on the lower hose or on the radiator. Identify the type thread of that fitting and select the appropriate cool drain plug size. Prep the cool drain plug with Teflon tape on the threads. Loosen the drain plug without removing the plug from the opening. Replace the radiator cap with a vacuum cap from the retrofit kit. Connect the coolant extractor to the vacuum cap using the adapter hose from the retrofit kit. Create a vacuum in the coolant extractor's tank of around 10 inches of mercury, leaving the vacuum valve on throughout this process. Open the flow control valve on the conduit hose so that a vacuum is pulled on the cooling system. Return to the location of the drain plug and remove the plug from the opening, replacing it with a cool drain plug. Turn off the vacuum valve and disconnect from the vacuum cap. Then replace the radiator cap back on the surge tank. At this time, the cooling system is ready for any of the applications for which the coolant extractor can be used for. Another feature of the coolant extractor is its ability to pressure test a cooling system. This is done with the following procedure. Make sure that the pressure cap is on the cooling system surge tank. Do a pre-service check of both the cooling system and the cooling extractor. Identify the location of a quick disconnect or the cool drain plug. Check to make sure the coolant extractor is connected to an air source and the flow control valve on the conduit hose is closed. Connect the coolant extractor to the quick disconnect found on the cooling system. Pressurize the coolant extractor to the desired amount of air pressure for the test. Open the flow control valve on the conduit hose to apply pressure to the cooling system. Visually check the system for leaks. If a pressure drop is noticed, proceed to identify the cause of the leak and take the necessary steps for correcting the problem. 